All right, guys, so listen. I'm here with Guy Murray, the inventor of the dynamic press bar. And uh, Guy's been working on this for a couple of years, a couple of renditions. This is the newest incantation of it. It's fucking phenomenal. We're going to take you guys through a, a, my set on this. Now, this is 225. I started after a bunch of reps on the bench. I had a shit ton of pump already to begin with, which is what I wanted because I want to get the most out of this bar. And what's really cool about this bar, as you guys can see, is these guide rods, these handles move in and out. So as we're bringing it down, we're opening it up like a dumbbell fly. We're pressing through it. And at the end, we're going to squeeze against these pins here to close it like a cable crossover. So we're basically putting three exercises in one, constant tension, a tremendous amount of tension, and a lot of time activating the key muscle group. So the pump on this is unreal. You'll see, even on my chest, even though I'm not crazy lean, you can see like the fingers in the, in the pec muscles and stuff, right? So what's really sharp is we started at a plate. I felt that I'd say basically this feels easily a plate heavier than normal. A plate felt like two plates. A plate and a half felt like, you know, two and a half plates. And now I'm gonna go for two plates. So I don't even know how this is gonna feel yet. Uh, I think it's kind of, as we add more weight, it's not just a plate more, it's just increasingly harder to do. A little bit of fatigue and you'll see, as I squeeze, the hands get a little choppy. It's not the unit, this thing's glass. This thing smooths, moves really well. It's the muscles having to fight and contract harder and harder through the movement, which is very, very different. Uh, amazing, but a different feel altogether. So we're gonna give this a whirl here. Do we'll lift off? Yeah, slight lift off, right on. on three, one, two, three, up, over, over. Good. Open it up. Squeeze. Open it up. Squeeze. This is a lot harder in two plates. Opening it up into a fly, press through. Squeeze. There's your cable crossover. Whew. Was that like three or four reps? That was fucking crazy. Isn't it amazing? It's amazing. <laughs> and it's definitely not going to be a, a unit that's about the heavy weight. It's, its capacity is 350 pounds. I, I bench 475, 500 pounds. I don't see myself using three plates on this for a long fucking time. Just the activation on it was crazy. We're going to do a couple more sets. Let's strip it down to one plate. Sure. And we'll do a set. So kind of like a drop set, which is one of my favorite ways to finish off a muscle group, drive as much blood into the area as I can while we're running out of muscle energy. So we're going to see, you can see it's going to run smoother because I can handle the weight more efficiently. But it's going to get nasty awfully quick. The wheels are going to come off pretty fast. So again, what's really cool about this is a finishing move as forcing a ton of blood into the muscle group. There's nothing like it. The fatigue I'm feeling right now is unreal. Insane the tightness I got going on right now. And again, the first set of one plate, when I had more energy, it moved super smooth, but because now everything is just fucking dying, it's getting harder and harder to do. But what I like about it, it's getting harder and harder to do without me having to put more and more weight on. So I'm not worried about uh, tearing anything. I'm not worried about a tendon or ligament going. I got lots of time under tension on the muscle, but I'm not frying the nervous system. I'm just pushing a lot of blood, which is going to stimulate more growth and more density. So I fucking love it, man. Awesome. <laughs> right on, man. Awesome. I can't even put my right arm. That's okay. Good. Okay. Quiet the fuck down. So the way as far as I just follow you, I don't lead you. That's right. Good. Yep. Okay. Need a hand off? Rolling? Yep. Rolling. Come on now. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Yep. <laughs> 